how to read comic book scans using C Display X. On my desktop here, I have a zip file called Fairy Tale Volume 1. And for this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can read it. So the first thing you need to do is open up your browser. Once you've done that, you want to go to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash www.cdisplayx.com. Once you've typed that in, you'll be on the C Display X homepage. So what exactly is C Display X? So according to this website, it is the most popular CBR reader. And C Display X is a light, efficient and free CBR reader. And it is also the most popular comic book reader. It is able to read all comic book formats, such as the CBR file extension, CBZ, PDF, etc. That also includes zip files, which is what my comic book on my desktop is, and manga. Everything is designed to give you the best comic reading experience. It loads comic books immediately. Reading is fluid and comfortable, even on slow computers. It uses advanced resize techniques to provide a smooth rendering. C Display X is available on a couple of platforms here. So the first platform it's available on is on the Google Play Store. So for Android, there's a free version and a pro version. The free version is enough. However, if you want to support the creator, you can get the Android Pro version. It's also available on the the Amazon App Store and also available on Windows 64-bit and Windows 32-bit. Of course I'm on a Windows PC and I'm on the 64-bit version so I'm selecting Windows 64-bit. Once you've found the appropriate version for you all you need to do is download C Display X. So all I'm going to do is left click on the download C Display X green button here to start the Windows download. While that's downloading, I'm just going to show you what exactly you get with C Display X. So you get a cover thumbnail plugin, which allows you to find your comic book a lot easier. You also get an AI built into C Display, which allows you to color correct your comic book scans. And finally, you also get the ability to fully configure C Display X to your liking. All right, guys, C Display X has been downloaded now. So now we're ready to install it onto our Windows PC. So all you need to do is navigate to the bottom left hand corner of your browser here and left click on this arrow. Once you've done that, all you need to do is left click on open to open up the C Display X installer. And there we go guys, we are now greeted with the C Display X installation setup wizard. So I'm going to quickly take you through the setup here. So left click on next, choose your installation location. So I'm going to leave it as default and then I'm going to hit next. You then have the option to do a full installation which is currently set to by default, a compact installation or a custom installation. I'm going to go with a full installation here, so everything will be checkmarked. However, I do recommend not installing all the language packs. So I do recommend leaving all these checkmarked here, such as CBZ files, CBR files, CBT files, CB7 files, so zip, raw, tar, and 7z files. And then for the language packs here, as you can see, they're all checkmarked. I recommend uncheckmarking all of them and just keeping the language that you want to install. So if English is your native language and that's the language you want, all you need to do is uncheckmark every other language as English will be installed with C Display X. So I'm just going to scroll all the way down here to get the last few installation options here. So as you can see, thumbnails in Explorer, you're going to leave that checkmarked and PDF file support you're going to leave that checked as well. Associate the file type. I left that blank. However, you can adjust to your liking. Once you've done that, all you need to do is left click on next here. You then have two further options, create a desktop icon and create a quick launch icon. I'm going to be creating a desktop icon, but I'm not going to be creating a quick launch icon. You adjust to your liking. And then all you need to do is left click on next and the installation will begin. C Display X is a relatively lightweight program and will be installed really quickly. Once the installation has been completed, you'll be greeted with this window here and you'll have two further options that you can uncheck or check. The first option is to launch C Display X Upon pressing finish, I'm going to check mark that and get it started. I've left that on check marked. Again, you can adjust to your liking. All you need to do now is left click on finish and C Display X should open. And there we go, guys. C Display X is now open and we're greeted with a very clean user interface. Now, how do you go about loading your comic? There are two ways to do it. The first method is to go file on the top left hand corner here and then left click on load files or open a folder. And method two is to simply drag the comic scan file into C Display X. So I'm going to be demonstrating the second method here. So I'm just going to restore down C Display X here, and then I'm going to minimize my browser. You should now be able to see your desktop. I'm just going to move this to the side here, and I'm going to locate my comic book. So as you can see, 
Fairy Tale Volume 1 is on my desktop here, and to read it, all you need to do is left click and hold, and drag it into C Display X, and then let go, and it will immediately load into C Display X for your viewing. So all I'm going to do now is maximize it to get a better reading experience. Now the comic that I've loaded into C Display X here is actually a Japanese manga, and C Display X has a really neat feature here, which is a Japanese reading mode. So all you need to do is navigate to the top right hand corner here, to the Japanese flag, and left click on this button here. Once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. I definitely recommend adjusting your screen fit here by left clicking on this icon here for a better viewing experience. And now all that's left to do is to enjoy your comic. All right guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Is it so I to live?